Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, this is our second video on Laravel e-commerce project. In this video, we are going to set up our project. So these are the points of the video. We need to install the composer, Laravel installer and then project. And we will make the two pages. One is master page for uh, uh, you can say that the global layout and after that we will make a login page. And at the last we will add the bootstrap and jQuery. And we will confirm that they are they both are working fine or not so now let's just go for the official website for the composer so just simply write here composer and you will get the first website here composer and let's click on the download and you can just run these commands keep in mind if php is not installed in your system then composer will not going to work so let's uh, check it just right here php minus v i already have a php 7.4 version so that's great and now let's uh, copy this first command and just run it on the uh, command prompt and first command will basically copy the setup from uh, website to your uh, local machine then we can just run the second command and it will just verify the installer you can see that installer verified and after that it will initialize this setup you don't need to run the fourth command basically fourth command is used for remove the composer setup from your system so this is done now let's go for any folder where you just want to install the laravel project so just go for dashboard and uh, then eight folder and i just want to show you here and i have the two folders here but that's okay but before it uh, before just installing the project we need to install the laravel installer so i again i just want to show it on the with the behalf of official website so just write here laravel installation click on first link and you will find that first of all uh, as the official documentation also it will just uh, tell that we can uh, use the composer and uh, if composer is installed then we can run this command right and just run it right you can run composer and this laravel installer in any folder of your operating system because they install globally once you install them you know no need to install again it that's why but uh, i already installed these things but i just want to show you that how we can install that's why i just reinstall these things right so let's wait for a moment so installer is ready and uh, now you can just type here laravel and it will tell that the laravel is installed or not if after installing laravel and or composer is not not working then you can just close the command line and open the new command line right sometime there is uh, some issue between the command line and this we need to just reopen it right so let's clear it again and uh, let's just write here laravel new and your project name so i'm just going to put here ecom and uh, hyphen en because i am going going to make this project in a uh, two languages one in hindi and second one is english so i already made a project here ecom hi so let's write here ecom en right and hit it so now it will just take uh, some moment to install the complete project then uh, we will just go through it with the and we will install the jquery and other things and we will make some pages also so finally project is installed so now let's go inside this folder ecom en and uh, open it inside the visual studio code with the command code dot right code dot command work only if uh, your visual studio code is installed if this is not installed code dot command will not going to work right so after that let's uh, just simply write here php artisan serve right and now you can just find your project inside uh, on this uh, port number if you just want to see the output here right so here this is running fine so now let's uh, go for the uh, resource folder and uh, then let's create a view so guys if you don't know what is view routing model and controller then you can watch our uh, previous videos which is a uh, series from the scratch on laravel 
so link is given in the description box for this series so now let's create a one file with the let's say login dot blade dot php right and here you can just simply write here some text the h1 tag mm, just give me a moment and uh, just simply write here login page and how we can just watch it on the website so for that we need to just change the route and let's go inside the routes and uh, web.php and you can just simply put here login for the root route right and now you can see that login page is working fine so one more thing we need to create a master page also so that we can just uh, create a wrapper and we can put our all uh, css javascript files inside a wrapper right so now let's go again inside the views folder and just create a master dot blade dot php ah, my bad right and just simply write here php colon 5 and you can see that we got a simple html structure and just simply write here ecom project or something right and uh, now let's include this master template inside the login so just simply write here at the rate extends and uh, page name which is uh, master my bad right and we need to use here at the rate so and uh, after that we can just create a section also section like this and uh, put a section name here like content right and now let's check out the output of it now you can see that we got the uh, uh, title here from the master page and we this page is working inside the master page uh, login page right so now let's see how we can add a bootstrap in our website. So there is a lots of way to add the bootstrap. You can use the NPM, you can use the composer, but I will tell you the simplest way. So that let's uh, just go to the uh, Google and just write here bootstrap CDN. And let's go for the official website here for the bootstrap. And uh, let's just copy this section, right? And put it inside your master.blade.php like here. So now you can see that we got the three files here, or three links here actually. Um, one for the bootstrap CSS and the second one for the theme. So we don't need this theme, so we can just remove it, remove it. And last one is for the bootstrap. So now let's uh, just refresh it. Now you will just see uh, some format changes inside this. Here you can see that the font family is actually changed when we just insert the bootstrap. So now let's try to add here uh, some button also. So just simply write here uh, button and let's close it and write some text here like uh, click on me. And now you will find that this is a very simple button, but we can add here some uh, style like class btn btn primary right and let's see uh, now this working is looking fine because we just added the bootstrap classes here right so uh, after that we can we know that this uh, the bootstrap is working fine so how we can add the uh, jquery now so one more thing when you just open the command line you will find that there is an error that bootstrap javascript required jquery because we also have the another uh, here you can see that it's bootstrap a dot min dot chess file this file also required the jquery so now let's add a jquery and right here jquery cdn go to the first link and just uh, select for the minified version right and just copy it and simply apply it to the top of the bootstrap and now you will find that this this ad is gone here and this is working fine 
So now let's check that the jQuery is working fine or not. For that, let's just simply write here a script tag like this. And just simply write here dollar document dot ready right and uh, here just simply write here anonymous function like this and just simply write here uh, dollar on click on button so just write here button dot click and on this click on this button we will just again call some alert and all just write here alert all set now let's check is there an error in console or not so there is a no error in console and when we click on this uh, click on me button it just give to the all set message also so this is basically our uh, setup is done now in the next video we will just make a navigation bar as well as a login page so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care and god bless you